Hi guys! My name is Christine and I just got my visa granted last March 22 and I am here to share with you a little bit of my journey. So a lot of you are asking me about the process and the requirements I submitted during my application along with my GTE. And yes guys, sa mga nagtatanong po, from receive po ako. Yung first lodgement ko is last um, November 14, 2022 and na-receive po yung visa ko November 21, 7 days after ma-lodge yung visa ko. And to think na nag-vacation po ako galing sa Taiwan para lang po mag-biometrics dito sa Pinas. Kasi sa Taiwan guys, wala pong biometrics function yung Australian Embassy sa Taipei, Taiwan. So last November uh, 14, Umuwi po ako sa Pinas kasi yun yung date ng lunchment ko. And November 17, ako po ay nag-biometrics. And November 21, sadly, na-refuse po yung visa ko. Sobrang lungkot to think na talagang I sacrificed everything. Pero ganun talaga, it's God's plan. So, sobrang depressed ko nun, guys. Every time, parati ko pa rin ino-open yung IMI account ko, hoping na may magbabago sa result. Pero ganun pa rin, um, refuse pa rin siya. So, nilaban ko ulit. So, ngayong March, nag siya ko ng uh, March 8. Nag-biometrics ako, guys, ng uh, March 17. And after 5 days, which is March 22, nag-grant na po yung visa ko. So, nag-resign na po ako from Taiwan and nandito na po ako sa Philippines. Ngayon. And hindi po na sayang yung sacrifice na ginawa ko kasi uh, luckily nagrant na po yung visa ko. So sa video na ito is ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung list ng requirements alongside with my GTE. Yes po, isishare ko po yung GTE ko dito sa video na to. So panoorin nyo po hanggang sa dulo kasi nandun po yung lahat ng requirements list and yung GTE ko. Sa lahat po ng may mga tanong, just leave a comment below and itatry ko pong gumawa ng another video para po masagot yung mga questions niyo. So without further ado, let's begin with all the requirements that I submitted alongside with my actual GTE. These are the requirements that I submitted and nung unang application ko guys, wala po akong sponsor and advice ko lang po to submit all the documents that you think is related po sa application niyo. And ito naman po yung aking refusal note. Reason for refusal is economic, home ties, and value of the course to my future. Let's now move on guys to my GTE. Sa first part ng GTE ko is my personal and economic circumstances. Sinulat ko po lahat ng tungkol sa akin and sa aking background. Next is how the course connects to my background. I-explain nyo dito kung bakit importanteng yun ang kukunin yung course. And the third one is yung value of the course to my future. In here, you need to explain kung paano nyo po maa-attain yung future career goal nyo after nyo mag-aral sa Australia. And it should compensate all the expenses that you will incur while you're studying there. It should be something na realistic and attainable. As much as possible, try to find a job offer na proof na meron po kayong babalikang work after nyo po mag-aral sa Australia, that's a great idea po. Next is why I choose Australia as my study destination. In here, kailangan nyo pong explain bakit sa Australia at hindi sa Pinas kayo mag-aaral. Next one is why I choose Melbourne over other state like Adelaide, Gold Coast, Sydney, Queensland, or any other state. Next is why I decided to study at ECA College, my circumstances in Australia, and of course, my immigration history. So, sa circumstances, guys, yun yung saan kayo titira, yung financial capacity, which will prove na kaya nyong mabuhay sa Australia on your own. And last but not the least, the home ties and of course, your general conclusion. So, that's all about my GTE, guys. I hope na nakatulong po ako. If you like this video, please don't forget to follow, like, and share para po mas marami pa pong makapanood at matulungan katulad nating nag-a-apply para sa student visa application sa Australia. So maraming salamat guys, good luck, and keep on praying. Thank you so much po. Bye-bye!